Hello, welcome back to Shadowrun for, I think, the last time for Dragonfall at least. So after what happened last time, I did this mission again for the third time and got the same issue where I couldn't move afterwards. My file wouldn't save, nothing good was happening. And yeah, did it for the fourth time and decided to try and not manually save it right after I just exited the area and it worked that time. So there's a really bad bug, I guess, with that level where if you manually save it, it fucks up, which is a pretty big problem, and I'm surprised that no one's taken care of that yet, but... Oh well. I mean, I got through it at least. Such a game-breaking bug, though. Anyway, so... To pick up where we left off, your trip back to the... What? I can't... I can't read that? God damn it. Alright. Instead of me rambling, let's actually... let's actually read that. I just thought I should explain that I did in fact actually get it to work. So, your trip back to the Cruise Bazaar is a restless one. Now that Apex has been dealt with, the window of opportunity that you've been waiting for is opened. The Harfeld Manor is vulnerable. The video feed that the AI showed you circles over and over in your head. Vauclair and Audrin, and the strange woman in the containment device. The revelation that Vauclair runs the Harfeld estate, and his assertion that something was set up to happen tonight. The train glides to a stop. You push through the doors onto the platform. There's no time to waste. And would you just look at all of this sweet, sweet karma that I just earned? Really happy about this. It is definitely going into... let's see. Definitely into decking so I can get my shiny new deck. And... hmm. Should I...? Let's see. Let's max for orcs. Max for human selves and dwarves. Controls? Deck? I'm curious. Oh yeah, there it is. Maximum for troll is... Six. Alright, so I got my... Seven... Can't decide if I should do more decking or more intelligence. Because I can't have both. Max out my intelligence, I suppose. I wish I could get rid of some of these. Like, I don't need to know how to use throwing weapons. <laughs> my willpower is so low. Alright, anyway. That's all done. So, you guys didn't miss anything, by the way. Oh yeah, I need to sell my old programs back. My level 2 programs. And I wonder if there's a place to buy armor. I'm probably too broke for it. Oh wait, I have to equip my new deck. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, 
and I can't do that out here. I have to go to my locker. Eh, okay. I guess I'll come back. I'll come back to you. Dante! You enter the room to find your team preparing. Their faces are grim. Iger looks up and locks eyes with you. Without looking away, she addresses the rest of the team. With Apex down, we have our opening. The estate's automated defenses will be online. Attacking and yeah, attacking the holdfast should be doable now. Still risky, but doable. Glit stops what he's doing and shakes his head. Yeah. We'll have an opening, sure, but to do what? I mean, with everything we just learned, what's our new plan? She shrugs. We enter the estate, locate Beauclair, and shut him down. Same plan, different target. It's possible that Apex fabricated that comm feed. Beauclair might still be innocent. Doubt it. My gut tells me that what we saw was real and second-guessing ourselves isn't going to get us anywhere. Glory pauses, considering, then nods. Fair point. Okay, so let's assume that Vauclair is the one who's behind all this. What's he going to- what's he doing in that lab? How does the dragon tie into this? Hey, lion! I mean, this whole thing was always about rescuing the old man from the Firewing. Is she still in the picture at all? Has she ever been? After what Apex showed us, I don't even know what we're trying to stop anymore. All that I see is a lot of dead bodies with no explanation why. It doesn't matter why Vauclair killed Monica and Paul and all of those other people in the Cruise Bazaar. All that matters is that he did. I'm going to bury him for that. You're welcome to help. Okay, no worries. I just logged in, so have fun at work. And I'll, yeah, I'll catch you later. See you, Lion. I, for one, want answers. Amsel said that there was a lot of money flowing into the Harfeld estate, and he found evidence that a bioweapon was being stockpiled there. Whatever Vauclair is doing, he had Apex kill his own brother to hide it. I intend to find out what it is. Hmm. Oh, thank you! Yay! <laughs> we'll get your answers, but... Iger's right, we still need to focus on stopping on Vauclair. There's a moment of silence as the group pauses to consider your words. Finally, Glory steps forward. That's... satisfactory. I'm in. This is your show, Chief. Whatever you choose to do, I'll come along for the ride. Or you won't, Blitz, because I'm a better decker than you. When we reach Vauclair, I'll take him out. He'll never know what hit him. You lead, and I'll follow, boss. Iger glances at you and cocks her head. Looks like the team's good to go. What's our next move? We hit the estate, find Vauclair, and distract whatever information we can. Improvise from there. Sounds straightforward enough. Iger raises a hand. Word of caution, Pixel. Our objective may be simple, but taking the same approach that we took last time would be a mistake. I'll defer to your judgment. What would you suggest? I've been reviewing the intel that Alice sent us and comparing it with what I gathered on our original run. There has been substantial increase in the number of heat signatures on the ground. That means new security troops. Lots of them. Great. 
They know that we're coming. She slings her rifle over her shoulder. That just means that we'll be fighting in a target-rich environment. Works for me. Dietrich cracks his knuckles. We'll want to get into the lab area as quickly as possible, so I'd suggest bypassing the main floor of the estate entirely. We can enter via the servant's entrance that you escaped through last time. Unfortunately, they've blocked off the route that we used between the stables and the tree line. That means we're going to have to fight our way there. And once we're in, how do we find Vauclair? The lab that Vauclair was talking about wasn't on the ground floor, so it's either in the basement or the sub-level. We go down and we scour every level until we find it. That might take a while. That facility could be massive. There was clearly a lot more to it than we saw. We've got no way of knowing how far underground the complex extends. We go in prepared for an extended search then. Iger looks down, checking her gear. Ammo won't be a problem. Alright. If anyone has any reservations about this, now's the time to say it. There's nothing to say. We'll do what we have to do. Okay, that's it. Finish gearing up and head to the tunnel at the back of the safe house. I'll meet you where we stash the van. Alright. Time to do my equipment. Oh yeah, I need to unequip my Fuji and equip my Fairlight Excalibur. Oh yeah. Okay. I wonder if Dietrich can learn that. I know I can't use it. Alright. Now I need to sell my old deck. Hmm. And my old programs. Oops, I need to be looking at my stuff. Okay. So, sell my Fuchi. I guess I'll sell this because I have no use for it and I don't think I can give it to Dietrich. Or can I? You know what, I'm gonna hold on to that. It's only gonna get me like 600 new yen anyway. Alright, so three... Keeping all my level three programs. Getting rid of all my level twos. And yeah, I have three ESPs, which is good. Oh, I have a shit ton of spells. Wow. I'm gonna keep this. Oh my god. We have a lot of shaman stuff now. Yeah, I'm gonna sell these. I never really... I'm now a drug peddler. Don't need a drone repair kit because I don't have drones. Alright, looks good. I'm not gonna use one of those again. Mm.
I'm only gonna keep one of these spells, I think, just in case Dietrich needs it. So I'll get rid of the rest of these. I'll keep the fetishes, though. Yeah. Get rid of the power bolt. Actually, no, I should probably keep that, actually. Where'd it go? Good enough. Alright. Does anyone have armor around here? That's what I really need. Guess I'll make my rounds. Pixel, what a relief it is to see you alive. Samuel's face clouds. Unfortunately, many others were less fortunate. Your friend, Silka. I'm afraid that she was one of those. They caught her in the street. She and another of my volunteers were trying to shepherd one of our more difficult guests into shelter. The attackers. They opened fire. He clasps your shoulder. Eyes welling with tears. She took five rounds, Pixel. Dr. Ezkabel tells me that she felt no pain. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go. I have cremations to attend to. Ooh, God. Who is that? Oh, wait, that's Sock. Forgot about that guy. Alright, do you have any armor? Pixel, I'm glad to see that you made it through the attack. Not all of mine were lucky. Are you okay? No. I lost a niece today. But I'm doing a whole hell of a lot better than our attackers are. Those sons of bitches hit the wrong cues. I put six of them in the ground personally. When I find out who they are, where they lived, he turns his head and spits. Ain't nothing gonna save those people. He shakes his head. He turns his attention to you. But you didn't come here to listen to my rage. You're after a bit of payback yourself, I'll wager. So what can I do to help you get it? Hey, what's going on? Um, oh god. It was... The, um, like, do you know the big orc dude with the synthetic skin and all that? His name's Audrin. Like, there were- you missed a lot. <laughs> So, we found out that, um, so yeah, they attacked the area, and then we had to go shut down this AI. When we shut it down, it was revealed that the, you know, the doctor, Vauclair, that we've been looking for this whole time, the brother of the Green Winters guy, turns out that he is actually working with Audrin, or so it seems, you know. We're not entirely sure about that, but it's a possibility that he's actually working with Audrin. So we're gonna go back to the area where the game started, where Monica died, and put an end to this. Once and for all. Or something like that. Right now, I'm seeing if- oh, here we are! Why did I not see this before? I could have had better armor this whole time. Alright, so he's got grenades, weapons, outfits. What am I wearing right now? Really? You're not gonna show me? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Just a minute, guy. What am I wearing? <laughs> Armor 1, no fucking wonder. No wonder. Okay. My god. Okay. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Let's see. Get a Kevlar line trench coat. That looks good. I don't need close combat. 
Oh my god, I can't believe that I've been running around in level 1 armor this whole time. No wonder that I'm so weak and dying. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Kevlar trench coat. Oh yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, it was gonna let me wear it, wasn't it? Shit. Alright, well... Now I have to go to my locker to change. Because once again, I wasn't thinking. Yeah. It's hard for me to keep track of what people have seen. Because I feel like everyone's lost whenever they join. Oh yeah. I actually like this outfit better. <laughs> but... And that's more Shadowrun-like, I guess. My hair clips through it though, that really bothers me, do you see that? Or, wait, is that my hair? Yeah, I think that's my hair. Ugh. I'll just have to not look at the back of me. <laughs> Thank you, Joe Football. Give me the benefit of the doubt. I seriously can't believe I didn't realize that he had armor for sale that whole time. Alright, what are you doing? That was crazy. Bullets fly and people drop- oh god, I didn't mean to click so early. Ozak had to use his magic on a few of them. See that puddle over there? He lazily points to the yellow-green stain on the cobblestones, then gives you a slow nod. Yeah, that was one of them. Attacker, thy name is Goo. Um... Well done, I suppose. Zok bows down with a flourish. Thank you, friend, thank you. So what can old Zok get you? Got a formula for a combat stim. Oh, god. I never talked to this dude. And I think he... Oh, that's right, he sells drugs. I forgot who he was. Because I never talked to him. Alright, let's grab some... Medical supplies. Perfect. Oh god. There we are. Now I'll be ready as soon as I... Maybe I should talk to that guy in the cafe before I go. Just really quick. Yeah. Ugh, that bothers me. My hair is totally clipping through that collar on the back of the coat. Found this liquor in my travels. La Tendian, why not? Recently, I procured a bottle of fifty-year-old Eli Scotch 
Would you perhaps be interested in acquiring it for me? I like <laughs> how different those options are. Either, you say. Might I examine the merchandise? He takes the bottle, and his smile fades for a moment as he becomes all business, examining it with a critical eye. Then as quickly as it faded, the huge smile is back. Quite a little treasure you found. I'm sorely tempted to ask from where, in hopes of procuring more, you see. But no, it would not be polite. I would perhaps value that bottle at 400 Nguyen. 500, since I'm the only supply in town. Thank you, my friend. I have a buyer already in mind for this little gem. Or perhaps I shall keep it to myself. It is good to always have something special on hand for a celebration. Alright, see you later. Okay, now it's time to go. After grabbing that little bit of money that I didn't even need because I've already bought everything. things where my teammates have nothing to say. Yep. It's looking like that. Yep. Nothing new. Uh, yet I still talk to everyone every time. I wonder what it'll be like to actually have armor. It's crazy. I have nine times the defense that I used to. The van lurches forward. The smell of anxious sweat hangs close and thick inside, making the cramped vehicle feel even smaller. The streets of Berlin are strangely quiet as you make your way past the city limits. It's as if the whole of the flux state is waiting for something, a calm before the storm. An hour later, the van rounds a corner. In the distance, you can see the silhouette of Harfeld Manor. Backed by the light of the full moon, you switch the van's headlights off and switch it to electric. A short while later, you kill the ignition and roll quietly down the last hill, pulling to a stop on the side of the road. A bird of prey takes wing from a tree above you beginning its nocturnal pursuit. You know how it feels. Oh, yeah, the, being able to take the dog is new. He apparently has crazy hellhound magical powers. It's pretty sweet.
I have so much healing shit. I wish I could take away his shitty trauma kit and replace it with a better one. Ah, nice. I hope that's a better weapon for him. If not, oh well. But yeah, when the... When our area got attacked, I found Dante, like in this weird, possessed dog mode, just breathing fire all over everything. It was pretty sweet, actually. Once again, the grounds of the Harfeld Manor are silent, save for the faint whistling of the wind. But unlike last time, the air is rank with foreboding. The night is swollen with homicidal intent. They're waiting for you. Last chance before things get hot, let's review the plan. Once we're in, we make our way across the grounds to the servant's entrance. We use the freight elevator to make our way down to the lab. With Apex down, the automated systems will be offline. We'll still have plenty of guards to deal with, though. She looks at you. Good to go, Pixel? To make him pay for Monica and Paul. The team looks to one another for confirmation. They all nod sharply. They're ready. Is the wrong way, obviously. The screen on the door's access panel flickers off and on and displays a flashing error code. Open. And open. Aw, don't make me kill the puppy, even if it's a hellhound. I mean, there's no reason to take cover, it's a hellhound, but oh well. Oh yeah, I also picked up a grenade launcher in the last area. And I'm still the worst. good weapon or not, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> really? None of us are able to hit this thing at all, I guess. What the fuck? Yeah, that's a bit ridiculous. Yeah! Yeah, I guess you're right, Joe. I won't have to hurt the puppy. Alright. That's not working at all. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. Aww. 
What I want to know is why are there hellhounds running around? Get to the pedal! Cover me! Ah, <laughs> god damn it. I am the worst shot ever. Uh, Glory won't make it. Okay. Just get as close as you can, Glory. Hmm, I actually have an idea. Ha! There we go. Ah, uh, but she still can't get him now. Oh well. That was a bit of a waste. You know, I would have done Overwatch, but I didn't think they would be dumb enough to just run out here like that. <laughs> Alright, that's fun. Trick actually hit something. Yay, there we go. Still not very good. But it's it's okay. And I got an achievement for that somehow. Not sure what I did, but I'm not complaining. Oh my god. I didn't see the hellhounds. They're everywhere. Why is no one's lobbing a grenade at me? I'm kinda asking for it. Die, okay. Make Pixel not suck so much. I wonder why they're not actually coming after us. How did that hit Dietrich? That made no sense. <laughs> How can I- how could I shoot this guy? That doesn't seem to make much sense either. Oh, I should have done this one first. Oh, 
Oh god, I should be using this one actually. Courtyard key. <laughs> yeah, that did not make sense to me at all. Sometimes the line of sight in this game looks really weird. Like, it'll look like I have a line of sight on someone and I can't shoot them or heal them or whatever. And then stuff like that happens. Routine not found. Primary automated security systems offline. Secondary protocols engaged. Probably could have just hacked into that, but oh well. I wanted to explore first. Where are you all going? Are they just running away? Hey, I hit one. <laughs> I'm surprised. Dietrich Hyde. Just running away like little bitches. Combat? Oh my god! I was not expecting that, actually. Um. Dietrich. Yeah, that would legitimately freak me out a bit. God. Oh shit. Get out of that area. That 
has the same it's a similar sound as my phone. It's very weird. Like every time Dietrich uses his new weapon, I like look over at my phone. Like is everything okay? Someone texting me. The design of this place reminds me a bit of Hearst Castle in Central California. So I think it's considered central. Okay, I don't see anything else around here. Automated security system offline. Manual door locks engaged. Looks like they can't. Looks like they know they can't depend on Apex to be their watchdog anymore. Someone manually locked the door. God, everyone is just sucking right now. Iger hit something, my God. Worst. So bad. Wait. How is his line of sight locked? That's so weird. Still? Thanks, game. Like, how was Dietrich's line of sight blocked and Iger's was not? Wait, who else is here? Gargoyles. Yeah, not gonna surprise me again.
Wait, and now Iger's line of sight is blocked? What is going on here? surprised I can see him from here. So odd. You know, I should start using Iger first with her tracer rounds. I keep forgetting. Yeah, Dietrich. What's going on? No, we are at the the Harfeld Manor. So, for for you guys in Poland, are you saying Berlin is like your Kansas? Oh my god, look at all these people. <laughs> yeah, I don't really want to I don't really want to get in there yet. Wait, what the fuck? I don't remember putting Iger there. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Oh my god. Chat in general is distracting, so yeah. It's just the way of things. Well, I guess they weren't close enough to get the bonus. They have a rigger. I kind of have a thing for drones in this game. Like, I just think they're so adorable. Alright, Dietrich, you know what you're good for. Well, sometimes. Aw, I almost killed him by myself. <laughs> it amuses me that Dietrich was the one to... Like, Dietrich finished him off. Did you just say adorkable? I said that they were adorable. Where in the... Why can't... Like, what's going on here? I can't attack that person? I must not really have sight on them. There we are! Hmm. <laughs> Just 
Just wanted to set that guy on fire. Alright, which one of you is the rigger? I can't tell. Ah! No, that's a mage. Oh well, I'll bring this guy's armor down anyway. <laughs> you know, I think the reason he missed me there is because his gun actually went over her shoulder. Hey Ewok, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I just think they're so adorable. Like, I don't have the points to spec into drone control in this game, but whenever I do the tabletop version, I always put, like, just enough into drone control where I can have my own little drone without f being a full-on rigger. Here is the bastard. Alright, let's get him. I'll feel a lot better. <laughs> Never mind, I'm not gonna say it. It'll sound weird. Ooh, Dietrich can summon a thing. Ooh, a typhoon spirit. I haven't been able to summon one of these before. Very nice. Alright, mana bolt. What else does he have? Accident. Sounds kind of fun. Mm. Just do a good old mana bolt on this gargoyle. Oh, I'm not embarrassed. People just think it's weird when I say things like, you know, how it's sad when animals die, but when people die, it's like, meh. Like, a lot of people think that's really weird. A lot of people agree with me, though. And, you know, I'm talking about in media, though, not in real life. Obviously. But... Yeah. Okay, what I was gonna say was that I was hoping that I could go after the rigger instead of the drone, and... Yeah. When I did that, the drone also went down, so... That's what I was hoping for. Oh my god. I'm not doing shit to this gargoyle. There we are. Take his armor down a bit. Hi, J Rush. How are you? Wait, do you actually have a mullet, Ewok? <laughs> are you being serious? Or are you. Okay. You never know. I'm doing fine, thank you. Oh no. Oh god, I lost control of the water spirit. Dietrich is gonna die. That was bad. No, I get what you're saying about the the animal thing, but some people take it way too seriously when when I say things like that. Like it's more sad when 
animals die or whatever in movies and things, they take that way too seriously to the point where it's like, what, you don't value human life? And then it, yeah. Turns into a silly thing. Ah. All right, Dietrich, no more, no more summoning random spirits. This is not going well for us. I think I asked too much of the spirits, and that's why he's mad. And I still can't hit a damn thing. I wonder if Glory can punch him to death. Oh god, and out pops a gargoyle that I completely forgot about. Yeah, there's no reason, I guess, to beat up on that water spirit. It's not helping at all. I've seen plenty of curly mullets in 80s movies, and you're right, they do look pretty bad. Like, Exhibit A, The Lost Boys, one of the vampires has this really curly, scraggly, horrible mullet. That's what it makes me think of when you bring up curly mullets, Ewok. I wonder if I can just kill everyone else and not have to deal with this water spirit. Oh shit. That actually caused some damage to glory. That's not good. Uh. Yeah, I guess I do have to deal with this spirit. Hmm. Wait a minute, no. I want this one. Ha! Okay, he died. Good. Hey, Semtex, how's it going? I haven't seen you around in a while. Why did you wait until just now? What a bastard. Actually. Actually. Better bring down this armor first. Thinking ahead. There we go. I haven't even looked at the Steam Summer Sale yet. I'm kind of afraid to do it. Oh my god. I need to stop killing those things around Glory. I probably should check the summer sale because, you know, if I'm gonna get a game, I might as well get it now while it's on sale. But at the same time, I know I might get carried away. The screen on the elevator control panel displays randomly flickering characters and error messages. Has anyone in chat picked up anything cool from the Steam Summer Sale?
After making your way across the manor grounds, you find the servants' entrance open and the immediate interior clear of any resistance. You find the elevator that you used during your prior escape waiting patiently for your arrival. It shudders to life now, ready to carry you down into the facility below, to the place where Monica met Apex and the world turned upside down, where this whole thing began. Um, hello? What is going on, game? What is going on here? I just saved, right? Yeah, yeah I totally, totally just saved. So let's try... Try this. Yeah, Shadow Run is pretty cool. I've played the first one and now I'm playing this one, which is the second game in a series of three. And yeah, I like it. I think this one's better than the first one. Okay. Yeah, 82 is probably not bad. I'm sure there are a lot of games on your list. Oh, really? So, yeah, see, it was glitching before something. I love Tales from the Borderlands. That is actually my favorite Telltale game. But then again, you don't really like you don't really like those type of games, I guess, from what I remember you saying. They're inside the lab! Call for backup! The whole network- yeah, the whole security network is down. Take cover! I wonder what would have happened if I left that AI alive. Because that was an option, but I didn't trust it. to get behind full cover. Even though I'm awfully close to that guy. I don't think Glory can get close to do anything quite yet, so... Yay. Dietrich is in serious need of health. Lame. Lame. Really? I can't throw his fireball? Okay, whatever game. Whatever. See, the thing with Telltale games, they all have this formula that they stick to. And it's kind of getting old, like, your decisions don't actually matter and all that. But I still enjoy them. I can definitely understand why someone wouldn't, though. Oh my god. That was a lot of damage. Hey, Dietrich, buddy. Oh wait, he has to move first. Oh god, you know, okay, I'll have Glory go out there first. This whole layout is weird. Alright, can 
you heal me now? Yay. There we go. And... I guess that's it. grenade launcher him to the face. This grenade launcher is really not good. <laughs> My SMG does more than the grenade launcher. I don't get that. Should not be the case. Like when they bleed out or burn up. They're just kind of standing there and then they're just like, Bleh. As you stoop to pick up the guard's key card, something catches your eye, a flash of light. Sweeping your gaze across the room, you see a variety of terminals all displaying flickering error messages. Whatever security Apex provided here, it's offline now, leaving the machines unlocked and unprotected. It probably won't stay quiet in here for long. We should keep moving. <laughs> oh, he can be such a dick. Not just yet, there could be valuable intel in here, and we don't even know how big this facility is. We should sweep the area for clues before pushing forward. Alright, fine. We'll search the room, but let's do it quickly, yeah? Don't want to get stuck here again. Did my stream go down? God damn it. going on here. 